Uh, good morning, all. Uh, welcome to another fly tying video. Small town flies here. Uh, today we're going to be doing one that is been around for I think forever. Um, I'm not as sure exactly what it represents, uh, but it catches a ton of fish. A picket pin. Now there's I, so many different variations of this fly. Um, this is just kind of like my my version. Some things I don't do like everybody else does. Other things I do, I add a couple of steps here and there. But yeah, just if it's, you know, like I said, fly with fly tying, you know, make it your own. Okay, start off. We're going to have a, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Mustad or whatever brand you want. Size 14 uh, Nymph hook. Okay, get down the vise. All right. This is a wet fly. So this is kind of like, I'm going to sit just below the surface. Okay. All right. Um, basically, you want black thread. Okay. Like six out unit thread. Okay. And start about an eye length hook behind the eye. Bring it back. Okay, so far. All right. Clip your tag. Bring it back to just where the, the bend of the hook starts. All right, uh, first things first, you're going to want to use some, you can either use a uh, squirrel tail for the tail itself, <coughs> or you can use brown, sin, uh, brown uh, hen saddle. Um, you could use, uh, this is a feather that actually my buddy I work with, he found it in his yard um, off of a bird or something. It has some pretty cool modeling coloring to it. I've actually used this on a bunch of my um, bead head nymphs that I tie. Because when I tie nymphs, I tie pretty much mostly all bead head just to get the weight down. So you can do that. I mean, there's a multitude of different, you know, different things you can use. Um, so just clip a little, little bit of that off. Okay. okay. Now you can, which I'm going to... You can stack this, make it a little bit, you know, more even. Okay, you can do that if you want. That's not no big issue. So stack it, get your tips, you know, pretty good. Okay, bring it out. Okay. Um, all right. Tyson again about a hook shank in length. Okay. Capture it on the top. Remember, always capture it on the on. A little bit from. <coughs> off the top because when you tie something down it's going to want to roll whatever way you're, you're you're winding and a lot of you're probably thinking okay why is the camera like opposite of what you've usually seen because i am left-handed i tie left-handed so if you're tying it regular way this vice and everything will be flipped around the other way but i'm left-handed so i gotta be different yes i know all right bring this in capture it okay now this is a step that i add Okay, that if you do if you want to, that's fine. If you don't, I take some very, very small brass wire or copper wire, I'm sorry. Like this is 0.1 millimeter. I think it's the equivalent to like the brassy size. Okay. Tie that in. Okay. Now the magical part of this fly, which I think is why trout love it, excuse me. Peacock curl. Okay, just regular strung peacock curl. Take like two strands, trim off the tip, because like I said, peacock curl, the tips are very, very brittle. Okay. All right. Capture it. Okay. The one didn't capture. Okay. Capture both of them. There we go. Okay. All right. Get it to where you want it. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Now. My wire's being cantankerous. I get that wire out of the way. Okay. Wrap around your thread. Once like I do. Okay. Start winding forward. Now you want to stop, and I'll show you. There's a reason why you're going to stop. Okay. Want to go to about probably right there. Probably about mid. Just a smidge further than midway on the, the hook and i will show you why in just a minute cut that off okay bring your wire in okay again this helps one stabilize the peacock curl because we all know it's brittle okay okay if you counter wrap it 
gives it stability and it adds a little bit of extra, I guess, flash per se. Break that off. That didn't break off when I want it to. So I should have to come here with you. Where did I drop? Stacker. Word of advice, when you do buy your tools and whatnot, buy quality. You know, don't skimp, okay? Don't get the El Cheapo stuff. Buy stuff that's going to last you for a while. Um, this is my hair stacker. It's basically solid brass. Um, my father got this for me whenever I started fly fishing. I've had it for almost, oh my gosh, 12, 13 years now. I've had it since I started. So buy quality stuff, all right? Now, uh, the next part of this is your wing, okay? This, again, you're going to go back to your um, uh, squirrel tail. A little bit bigger of a clump, okay? A little bit bigger. Again, back to the hair stacker, okay? This is, I don't know what this fly imitates, but it is a killer on most streams a lot of streams up my way i live in center county but a lot of the streams i fish are in clearfield county okay position this okay where the the wing comes just past the body back there okay do a pinch wrap come down okay Pinch, do your pinch wrap. Okay. Kind of bring that up. Okay. Now you want to clip all this off. Okay. Clip all your squirrel tail off. All right. Okay. Show you what you're going to do here in a second. Get rid of all this mess. Okay. And again, don't crowd the eye. Okay. Don't make sure you have enough space to do this. Don't crowd the eye. Okay. Clean this up a little bit. Okay. All right. Got some unruly fibers here in front. I have to get them out of the way. I know my, my father fishes this fly, and he, certain streams, oh, my gosh, they, you, you can't keep them off. I, I swear. it's I don't know what it is about this fly. Okay, now we got that. Now we're going to take the last part, go back to our peacock curl again. Okay, this time just take, you know, one strand. That's all you'll need, okay? Again, just break off the tip, okay? Tie it in, okay? Again, if you want to, go around your thread. I just find it's easier. Now, go around ahead of the fly. Okay, bring it up. Capture it. Okay, tie it down. All right, clean the head up a little bit. Make sure we can, you know. One thing you always want to do, um, I say, because you don't want to crowd the head, take a uh, bakken, all right, go down through the eye. That way, if there's any kind of debris or stuff that you don't want in there, okay, that will kind of clear it out, okay? All right. And finally, take your wood finish tool. A couple wraps. Bingo, bing, bang, bing, we're done. All right. And that is my version. I said it's not necessarily everybody's version. My version of the picket pin. A lot of times, guys will take and tie hackle, like a hen hackle, in this part of the body. Um, I just, I don't. I mean, like I said, it, it's my version um but this fly catches a ton of fish oh just add a little dab of head cement in the front all you need nothing huge but guys swear by this fly they say it's it, it works great so it's it's oh geez i just knocked my camera sorry about that guys um this is a wet fly make sure i'm still yep we're still good this is a wet fly goes just below the surface um so I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna clean out the the eye a little bit. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, if you have any comments, please um, feel free. Or if you have any suggestions for flies you want me to tie, I'll do it. No problem. 
Um, but enjoy your day and uh, tight lines, everybody.